I have indeed, so those cub tracks were not for Shadow's Cub, but for the little ones, which is what I surmised at one point as well, and there they're going, they're just moving away from us and walking through the bush, but they are the cutest little things, look at them, look how little they are. <laughs> it's all been baby things the last couple hours we've had, well, the last 12 hours should we say, we've had the little lapwings, we've had, I mean, plovers, I don't know why I keep saying lapwings, it's all one of those things that keeps getting stuck in my mind. But we've had the little plovers, we've had the little baby rhi uh, hippo, and now we've got tiny little lion cubs who are super cute. Now, the chances of us keeping up with these guys is probably very slim. And uh, Well, not slim, we'll be able to keep up with them, but they are going to cross into Arethusa at some point because they are moving straight in that direction. She's marching these little ones along, and shame, these poor little cubs have done some kilometers already as little ones, but look at them bouncing along through the grass after mom. They're still so small and they kind of trying to get into a situation where they are trying to keep up with her she's just ambling but for them they have to jog to try and keep up and look how small they are in comparison to her they don't even go above her tail just yet they're kind of just around that little black tail and maybe it's because they also want to play with it it's almost like dangling a carrot in front of a donkey it's kind of that situation but they are super cute these little ones there we go bouncing along off you go catch up with mom Shame, they must be getting tired. They've walked a long way. They've walked all the way from Torchwood. That's where their first track is because uh, Aubrey is on Torchwood boundary and he said he just picked up their track there. And then they've come all the way down Mamba across towards Philemon's and now they're mobile kind of towards Philemon's cut line and towards Zoe's road. So they really are walking a long way and she's going to keep walking them until she gets back to the Pride, which is, I'm not quite sure where exactly the Pride is at the moment. Yesterday they were quite close to the Londolozi boundary and Elephant Plains area so they were a long 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 way away so I hope she's not going to walk them all that way because these are going to be very tired little cubs if she does but I believe a lot of you are very happy to see these little cubs well you and me both I have a, haven't really spent much time with lions in the last few weeks and these little Inkuhuma cubs are just so cute and we had them for a while and they kind of were at the, these random den sites but she kept moving them and so it's so nice that hopefully we're going to get at least a decent sighting with them the only problem is is I don't really like following the little cubs through these areas because they get a little bit kind of nervous of the vehicles and, and the crashing of the bush and so it's, I suppose it is all part of them learning that we're not something to worry about and of course mom is in no way worried but it makes a lot of noise and I just feel like sometimes they get a little stressed by it so I don't really want to have to crash through too much bush so what I'm hoping is that she takes these little ones onto Philemon's cut line road and then we don't actually have to worry too much we can just drive behind them on the road itself which will be far less noise and far more pleasant for everyone involved but there they go they're just coming on my right hand side now they sort of bouncing along keep up little ones mom's not stopping for anything norm you're asking weren't there three cubs yes there were three cubs unfortunately one is gone what happened we don't quite not quite know but it's thought to be a crocodile that got one they had a giraffe kill very close to a really large dam that had a big crocodile in it they were seen there that night with the three cubs and drinking around that dam and the next morning when they moved away from the dam there was only the two of them so it's it seems to be that it was a crocodile of course it could have been something like a hyena that's also possible but it seems as though it was a croc that got them which is not uncommon it does happen i've seen crocodiles taking little cubs before the crocodile is very opportunistic and if a little cub plays too close to water then this is what happens and mom will have learned a valuable lesson from that next time she has cubs she'll definitely move them now i believe taylor's got some things so let's quickly jump across to her